it does come back and solve one more question for your oxidation state so here what does the question say why are molybdenum 6 and tungsten 6 found to be more stable means how are they uh, formed basically the formation is more stable compared to chromium 6 and now your chromium <coughs> is here now why is this oxidation state very less stable compared to your molybdenum in the next series and tungsten in the next series why so one such question is given so a concept is cr6 is less stable means the formation is less stable than mo6 and w6 i have to prove this so let us write the configuration first now chromium when i have to take six or the uh, or it's in configure electronic configuration it is 3d5 4s1 the normal one okay now for uh, molybdenum your yes, six it is 4d5 5s1 now for tungsten six oxidation state 5d4 6s2 now what is the difference between these three here for chromium you have 3d for molybdenum you have 4d and 5d now i am going to speak in terms of radial nodes right now basically whenever we are speaking about radial nodes two important things you have to concentrate first how to calculate radial nodes and what is the use of something having radial nodes and not having radial nodes now in case of 3d if i have to calculate radial nodes what is the formula i apply i'm going to apply a formula called n minus 3 this is the formula so now substitute this 3 here this n is equal to 3 this becomes 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 so 3d has no radial nodes when I have to calculate for 4D, it is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. It has one radial node. If I have to calculate for 5D, it is 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. It has two radial nodes. Now, what is the use of radial nodes? Suppose if an element doesn't have any radial node, it, the attraction towards nucleus is very strong. So, where are we finding this attraction? In 3D, isn't it? In 3D, nuclear attraction is very high because it, there is no node or radial node present in that. So, this attraction, I am going to write that nuclear attraction is strong. Nuclear attraction. So, because of this nuclear attraction, yes, nuclear attraction. Now, tell me, can chromium release or form 6 oxidation state? Can it lose 6 electrons from its uh, outer configuration? Very difficult, isn't it? So, nuclear attraction is strong. And when it is strong, formation of plus 6, your 6 oxidation state becomes difficult. When it is becoming difficult, what can I write? The formation or the stability of CR6. That is, it is less stable, hence less stable. But when I compare these two, molybdenum and this, they have radial nodes and they are not so close to the nucleus. They can easily donate those six electrons from their outer configuration and uh, form a plus six oxidation state.